Chuck Rennis here from Rennis Greenhouse because we'd like to give you advice on how to keep your, your gardens looking good. And you've done an outstanding job, we might add, with some uh, very hard to keep gardens too this year, but just some advice. Things are coming along pretty nicely. The, uh, the It's kind of tough on stuff when it's, you know, it's, we've had, uh, it's 100 one day and it's 60 the next, and that's, uh, that's kind of tough on stuff, but uh, things have been rolling along pretty good, so. That's a good thing. You guys was talking earlier this morning about uh, you know the season and how it progresses and how summer's almost over and stuff. <laughs> and and uh, you know we stop and think about that, but you know the uh, the hardy mums are, are are to the point now where we're starting to sell a few of them and they're oh, wow. uh, starting to set uh, some flowers on them. Um, poinsettias are all planted, so that's. Uh, you know that's uh, that's the next project. So poinsettias are planted. So we're getting ready for Christmas. Yep. And, and well, we're we, talking like yeah, they're just little. little they're they're, they're, yeah. big. they're like, just big. Don't scare they're, me like yeah, that. Yeah, they're sorry. small guys, but I mean it's uh, you know everything's off and running, and the summer has just. I mean, gosh, I don't know where it always flies. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we <clears throat> I was talking to somebody the other day, and uh, um, you know, here it seems like a while back. Well, when you know when the fair comes, well. You know, then we think, well, the fair will be here. Well, you know, in 30 days, the fair is over. Mm -hmm. And when the fair is over, that's that. So I think that's the sign that for a lot of people that absolutely. summer is over. When the yep. fair is, when they cl when they put the padlock on the yep. when when, when, when kids are going back to yeah. school. Kids are going back to school. Like and, you know, the, um, the, the you know down racing down at Knoxville, you know, the Nationals aren't that far away. And, and uh, when the National, I mean, it's just amazing how fast things fly by. It but wraps up. But I got to tell you, I mean, my porch tomatoes were absolutely delicious and, and they were plentiful. So I think it's been a great year. Most it, of my it, stuff it, hasn't died. I have to, uh, you know, Like I say, it's been you know everybody you're doing a good job yeah. in water and stuff and uh, things are looking good out there and like I say we've had some decent weather we've had a few really hot days but um, one of the biggest problems now we're going to start seeing is and, and this is pretty typical every time uh, you know the middle the middle of uh, middle of July to end of July and stuff there's there's several things that we can always count on and one of them is those little Japanese beetles mm -hmm. that, that we're going to start seeing and uh, now, Japanese beetles are those ladybugs that people call them ladybugs. Are they no, different? Japanese beetles are a, a little. Uh, they're a small beetle. They're almost a fluorescent green, but they can really. Um, you know, here a couple years ago, I was. Uh, we, we have a lot. Of, our mums are growing outside, so I was out behind the greenhouse watering mums, and I heard this um, humming, buzzing sound and stuff, and I looked around at my neighbors uh, one of the neighbors trees out there and there literally had to be millions of those things on it and in in that day they was there and I mean you couldn't see a leaf on that tree they was just that powerful. covered what wow. kind of tree was it do you know um, it was it was some sort of decorative pear tree okay. uh, of some sort and um, and the optimum where there is, was. Yes, <laughs> and the, the next day, the next day they was gone, and there wasn't a leaf left on that tree. Wow. I mean, it was just sticks. Now it didn't. It they don't kill the tree, but they'll they'll eat the leaves, and I mean, usually things will come back. But um, <clears throat> consequently, right after that happened, I also had a couple rows of green beans out there in my backyard, and within two days, I mean, you could never tell there was beans there. They was just eaten off at the ground by these bugs. Wow. Can and, you see yeah. the bugs, or you're oh, just no, noticing no, they're, that? Oh no, no, they're they're big. They're, they're big. yeah, they're um, they're big, okay. and, and they're it, 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 I don't know. They must just kind of migrate through here once a year, but okay. uh, the, the, they're uh, they're they're kind of a fluorescent I'll look green them up here yellow. Real quick. Yeah, and so you would physically see the bugs. Oh, you you, would, you can see them. Okay. absolutely, you can see them. So what are some so, things we can but, do? But uh, this here stuff, there is a, a Japanese beetle killer that you can spray on stuff, and oh, it's those um, ugly guys. Hang on, okay, let me, let me pull a picture up. Yes, guys? Okay. yes, yes. There we go. Yeah, those and, guys. And uh, that they're almost a fluorescent, uh, shiny color on those little spots there on their wings. Hmm. But you're not going to have. Um, I don't think you're going to have one. You're going to have a gazillion of they're, them, or they're, or they're not going to bother family. you. But but they come in and they just eat stuff. But this is a really good spray for that. And and like I say. Um, they're not going to really kill your trees or anything, but you do want to, you know, if you get them on your plants and stuff, um, this is a good spray for them. I'm very fortunate that they apparently don't like the mums because we've never had any problems on the mums. What makes them. this a good, uh, good one to get rid of? The well, you, you know, this is just it, it's a it's a ready to use. This is just one of the better products that that they have out there, um, and you can use this. This does many kinds of insects. It just isn't just them. So, and this time of year, insects get to be a problem on on pumpkins and, and cucumbers and things like that. So that. That's a, that's a good spray for that. The other thing that is a huge problem now is uh, 
the uh, downy mildew, powdery mildew, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a great product for that. Um, and, and that is something that we'll get on. Um, what, what causes that and why we see that this time of the year, it is because of the warm temperatures and the high humidity. Um, if you ever go by Anderson Erickson Dairy, they put a lot of zinnias out. And usually by fair time, those zinnias are just turned to crap. And that's because of the, the mildew on them. I mean, it just um, it just destroys it, them. It just destroys them. It, they just rot away. And and zinnias are, are one of the things. You know, again, uh, mildew, uh, pumpkins. Um, it's literally mildew on the flowers. It, it's just a. You, you can see it. I mean, yeah, it's just a gray, moldy mildew, mm. and uh, it, it gets on them. And it, like I say, it gets on a lot of that stuff. Um, asters, all that stuff. But that'll it, take care of it. Yeah, and, and this is just a good uh, a good spray to now use. Is that a preventative or after you see it? Well, it's a, it's a good preventative, but no, nobody worries about anything until it's half dead. Yeah, right. right. You know, we don't. I don't take care of myself. But you don't go when, to the doctor if no, you're feeling well. But some yeah. way when I have a heart attack, I'll probably <laughs> quit eating the crap I eat. So you know, but, but otherwise I'm good to go. You know, but but that's kind of the same way this is. But this is a great preventative on that kind of stuff. But um, it works good on it once you do see it also. So that's a that's so a good thing. So what should we be spraying that on? Well, again, this is this is good for everything. You can put this on your, uh, like I say, if you zinnias, um, zinnias, asters. That's something that definitely should be sprayed in the flower uh, part. Um, and this is good for other th things in the garden too. You know, because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fungus and stuff that's going to start attacking things just because of the humidity okay. and, and the, the moisture and, and the heat and stuff now. So, so should that be part of like your watering regimen? Um, you water your yeah, plants and then spray them. On? Yeah, uh, give them a, give them a good shot of this isn't going to hurt a thing okay and uh, like I say it is a good preventative but uh, if you have a problem that's a good thing for that too and if you're using so, that on vegetables and things like that it's completely uh, safe to yeah you read, read the directions but most, most and I don't know why but everything's different like you know you can use it up you have, uh, tomatoes you can use it up to the day of harvest maybe green beans you can use it up to two days of harvest okay but, but there's directions on all this stuff and and the, again with any of these sprays and chemicals um, the most important thing is, uh, if it tells you to use a tablespoon, two tablespoons isn't twice as good. So <laughs> you know, over, go over yeah, the follow the, dir follow the directions right. and it's good and stuff. And you have plenty but, in stock. Yeah, plenty of that in stock. And uh, and like I say, we're out there now. We have the butterfly bowls and stuff. Uh, you Yay. know, some of your flowers are looking good or looking bad at home. We got uh, got a lot of out. nice, a uh, lot of nice stuff. Mums are starting to bloom and. Uh, and uh, coming into color there, so mums are ready to go. Still got a lot of nice purple wave baskets. Uh, our wave baskets are looking magnificent out there. So. All right, and what are you open now? We are open Wednesday through um, Saturday, and uh, the rest of the time we're out uh, dinking around. Out on the <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yesterday, yesterday, so you know. Okay. yesterday was a beautiful day. We <laughs> took some of the grandkids, went up to the ledges, and gosh, it was gorgeous. You know, it, uh, the ledges. Um, I remember going up there as a kid, and then it kind of, it's not near as nice as it was. But we went up there, and, and it's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful. up there yesterday. Yeah. And walked in the water, and uh, took Dugan the dog, and uh, mm -hmm. the little dude can even swim and stuff. We was really happy about that because he just dove right in some of that water and uh, he, he had a good That's time a good but it thing. was a, yeah it was a great day up there you weren't yesterday. about to go after him right no well he was in it too so it was okay <laughs> well it's great